This video right here was shot and edited 100% on an iPhone. This is one of the best things to come to iPhone astrophotography since, well, since the tripod. Product that I've been searching for since I've started doing astrophotography with phones on this channel. And this will work with every iPhone from the iPhone 11 up until the iPhone 16 and onwards. This product here is called Lumilapse. It is essentially a Bluetooth intervalometer for night mode, specifically for the iPhones, and it's never existed until now. Basically what we're going to do with this is pair this, which is Bluetooth, with the iPhone and this is going to fire the shutter button about every 32 seconds. So that gives you 30 second night mode photo, a little bit to process the photo and take another photo again. And it will continue to do this until you stop it. This is made by Dale Wotherington, a member in our community, a good mate of mine who is up there in Newcastle, Australia. He specializes in iPhone photography and time lapses from the iPhone. And he does such a bloody good job with those time lapses. And he came up with this product and by God, it's good. There's really nothing for you to do with this at all. You've just got to supply it with power pair it with your phone and it will do everything automatically. On the side here is a USB-C port right there and that's where you plug your power in. You can use a power bank and the way that I do this and I've been testing this now for a couple of months, you can plug a USB-C cable into this and plug the other end into your phone. It will supply power to this and power it automatically just like that. So you pair it and start shooting photos. The other way to do this is if you're going to shoot for a long time and I've done many full night, whole night photos or time lapses from this. Uh, you just plug it into a power bank and Robert's your mother's brother, you're good to go. To pair this, it's dead set easy. You just need to plug power into the Lumilapse device, into the USB-C right there. And you'll see a little LED come up, a little red LED come up. This has got power to it now. It's searching for someone or for something to pair to. I've just got this plugged directly into the iPhone 15 Pro Max here. Go into settings, go to the Bluetooth, and we're looking for, there we go, Lumilapse right there. Hit Lumilapse, and we're done. It's all good. It's working right now. It really isn't a great deal to this, which what which is what makes it just perfect for what we do. This is like what Apple used to be when things just worked straight out of the box and it was simple. The workflow of using this really couldn't be simpler. You simply set your photo up, just like a regular astro photo with your iPhone, put it on a tripod, compose your photo, go into night mode and get it to that 30 seconds. Take a test photo and make sure that your composition and everything is right. Then once you're happy with the composition, it's a matter of plugging in the Lumilapse device, just like that. Just hang it somewhere on your tripod so it's not going to move anywhere. That's it. There's nothing else to do. Walk away and come back when you're ready. Once you're ready and you've got enough photos here and you can go for hours, you would be surprised how short of a video clip of a, of a time lapse this is going to give you. So I will shoot all night and get 30 to 40 seconds worth of video. So once you're finished, unplug the Lumilapse and job's done. You are going to have a bucket load of photos in your photo gallery now of exactly the same thing, but the stars are moving through the sky and everything is moving through those photos. Then we've just got to put them together. There are two ways to do this essentially. One is you can just shoot them all like I've done just now in just regular Heath format, and I'm going to put them into an app on my phone and make the time lapse. So it's 100% done on the phone. Dale, the inventor of this product, he's uh, done another in-depth tutorial where you put these onto a desktop. You do get better results, but it's not all on an iPhone. And I'd rather do, personally, I'd rather do everything on an iPhone. So this is going to get you to this sort of a level and what Dale is going to show you in his tutorial is going to get you to this sort of level with the end product quality. We're going to use a program called Star Stacker. I've done tutorials on Star Stacker before, which basically is going to let you do star trails, things like what you can see here with one of the older uh, images that I shot here. We're going to go into the photos at the top left hand corner and look for all the photos that I took last night. And this is them here. It looks like some cloud came in overnight. So I'm going to go down to the bottom. There's a lot here to where this time lapse started or where this series of photos actually started as you can see the galactic core in there i also got the atlas uh comet going there last night there's the start about there so i'm going to start with this photo right here and get those ones and i'm just going to 
click and drag them up like that and this will take a while because there's there's a lot of photos in these photos already i can see venus is there the galactic core is slowly coming down so you're going to see here in just a second how well this phone can do astro photos put them all together i've been after this for bloody ages and it works just so well and it's cheap as so let's get the rest of these photos Once we've selected all the photos we want, hit add, and it's gonna bring all those photos into the app. There's an awful lot of photos here, we'll see. It's checking them at the moment to make sure they're all aligned, and it's ready for stacking. So I'm gonna hit that stacking icon there, and this is basically the settings that I will do with these. You can do star trails, meteors, things like that, but I just want that time lapse out of this particular app. And the settings that I've got there is how we're going to do it. Hit start. And right now at the top there, it's loading all the photos in and now it's starting to stack them. It's going to give us uh, like a star trail effect initially, which is fine. Once this is done, it will then, I'll be able to then export a video file from this, the time lapse. And trust me when I say this, this is incredible. It's all stacked now, it's all rendered. I'm just gonna hit the export button at the top there, export.movie file and save that video. That'll now be in my um, photos app right there. Let's go to the last thing. And here it is. Oh my God. How good is that? Absolutely amazing that that's that's an all-night time lapse with the galactic core coming down the Atlas comet you can see it there at the beginning of the video Venus was coming down as well clouds started coming in the moon fate the moon start moon rose halfway through that photo for that video you can see the horses in the foreground so the lighting changed all the way through that but it didn't change enough to trigger that 30 seconds to be a different amount of time so it was nice and consistent all the way through that and that's 100 percent done on an iphone as you do these time lapses there's a few things that i think you need to be mindful of one you need a good tripod that's going to hold the phone steady i've done some time lapses with this and it's been very very windy and what happened was the camera moved that little bit in the wind dropped that 30 seconds down to 10 seconds so through a series of uh, images on that night lapse that i did there was a few there that were darker frames and the end result wasn't as good as i would have liked and what i had to do was drop the tripod down to like this far off the ground so it was out of the wind and it worked well then after but just be mindful of those sorts of things you don't want the exposure time to change throughout that image. Uh, keep in mind that was an all night sort of time lapse. So um, shorter ones, um, you may not have that issue. Just depends on the environment that you've got. The opportunities with this are endless. I've captured all night time lapses. I've caught the Aurora with this. It does a fantastic job and it's so easy and intuitive to use. The uh, Lumilapse is fantastic. The app to stack them all is very intuitive. It works really well. I absolutely encourage you guys to give this a go. It is $50 Australian plus postage, and that is damn cheap for what it can do. I've been after, I've, I've asked so many companies to make this and no one's come to the party yet, but uh, Dale has, and he's done a bloody good job. All right guys, catch you later.